Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Pastor Rick with Broadman Baptist Church, and this is the Broadman Word for August 23rd, 2024. And uh, hope you're having a wonderful day in the Lord. I want to talk to you today about something the world is running short of, and that is love. It's from 1 Corinthians 13. And um, it's a little perspective to the Corinthian church from the Apostle Paul. It applies to us today. And so uh, we'll talk about it for just a couple of minutes. First, let me read you uh, a couple of passages. <clears throat> it says, If I speak human or angelic languages, but do not have love, I am a sounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so that I can move mountains but do not have love, I'm nothing. And if I donate all my goods to feed the poor, and if I give my body in order to boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, it is not boastful, it is not conceited, does not act improperly is not selfish, is not provoked, and does not keep a record of wrongs. So some pretty powerful um, scripture there. I want to just kind of focus on the beginning of it and um, relate what Paul is saying to the current world in which we find ourselves. And that is the statement he makes about a clanging um, bell or a cymbal. I think, uh, let me use the actual words, sounding gong or clanging cymbal. We live in a world, and this isn't going to be any surprise to you, with more information uh, than there has ever been in human history. And so, with all of that information, not necessarily has there been a follow-up to knowledge and definitely not wisdom. But there is no shortage of words and ideas. So then we have to um, take a look at what it is we personally are doing. What is your worldview? Is it a biblical worldview? Is that what you espouse? Do people hear love, <coughs> excuse me, words of love from Jesus Christ from you? Uh, do they see in you the walk of an individual walking in love? And then you have to compare it to um, the verses below where Paul describes what love is. Uh, and so the question is, is that you? Because uh, in true Paulinian fashion, uh, he puts a, an if or a what in there and says, if you don't have love, effectively you're nothing. You know, what are you doing? You're not, you're not accomplishing anything. You're not anything. Uh, nothing is coming of this. And of course, none of us would want that said about ourselves. So, um, are your ideologies and the things you profess, even if you're attempting um, to have them be Christian and generally have a Christian presence, is it done in love, the kind of love that Paul describes, you know, not boastful, doesn't envy, is not deceitful, and on and on and on. Uh, is that you? Well, I hope it is. Because we live in a world full of sounding gongs and symbols. Uh, there is idea after idea after idea. Um, very little, if any of it has anything to do with truth, definitely not with um, the absolute truth of the gospel, and definitely not based in love, moreover based in somebody's idea of how humans are supposed to be, and not necessarily concerned about God's expressed will for us in, in Scripture. So it is for us then to contemplate and have introspect about what it is we're saying, what is it we're presenting to the world. Do we appear to be just another symbol, just another clanging bell, 
uh, in the wind with all the other clanging bells uh, are what we are what we sing and doing just more noise we can't afford to let it be that way so we have to have a component to what we say and do that is not present in all these other ideas ideas and ideologies and that component is love it requires us to first know the love of Jesus Christ and to understand his supremacy in the world and to truly live as he is our Lord and Savior and truly understand that everything in the world is in him for him by him and of him and so he is our authority he is the standard that is the absolute and the truth in fact he has said i am the way um, the truth and the life so uh, we have to approach things that way and attempt to both have and understand that love because if we don't we risk just being noise a clanging bell a symbol amongst all the others and our message can quickly get lost in all the other um, clanging bells it can be quickly dismissed as just more information so brothers and sisters i truly uh, exhort and implore you to speak and act in love always whatever it might be you're doing make sure the love of jesus christ is so intricately intricately intertwined in what it is that it is unmistakably a thing of christ not of this world nothing that could be heard or found of this world it has to be something outside separate holy from the world and in that way we can stand out we can catch the notice and the attention of people which then opens the door to our evangelism um, for their ultimate acceptance of christ but until we can 100 percent act out of love then there's going to be work to do for each of us and so that we can get to that point now listen i love you I hope you're having a wonderful day and that it's full of um, God's blessings with his hand firmly on your life. And I'll talk to you next time.